Well, yesterday was Easter Sunday here in the United States. I'm not sure how that works across the world, but yesterday we went to an amusement park. We paid $140 to get a bunch of tickets. It was like about 60 tickets and you can just go on these different random rides and you use these tickets one or two here and there. We, we ended up using none of the tickets, but we rode most of the rides. How the hell did that happen? So here is the kicker to all that. The first thing that we actually did was we're walking around and we see these little colored eggs all over the place. We started picking them up. We saw that they have tape around it and we we smashed it and each one of those eggs had about two or one or random amount of tickets in there. So basically kids would find it and they would redeem it to go on these rides. All right, cool. So we're walking around and we started finding more eggs. So we had a total of about a dozen eggs and it was all spread around the amusement park. We ended up using the tickets that were in the eggs opposed to the ones that we purchased. Considering that, even though I already paid $140 for the tickets, now we have to use those tickets at another time because they never expire. We can go back 10, 15 years from now and it'll still be okay. But most likely we'll end up going back in the summer or something like that. But what am I getting at? Well, in this carnival or amusement park, there is a game where you have a bunch of ping pong balls in a bucket for $5, a full bucket. All right, I think it's probably like a one gallon bucket and you're supposed to get into these little fish bowls so you can actually win a fish. The first attempt, I was playing with my daughter. We, we played and we won one fish. All right, that's cool. The, the payoff wasn't that well. $5 for one goldfish that probably cost like a dollar for 10 of them. But we continue doing our rides. Now then we come back again because my son wanted to play this time. He ends up getting seven. So now my fish tank is cluttered with goldfishes. All right, you see all these big goldfishes? Now here's the kicker to all this. After I put in the goldfish, that same night, which was yesterday, I noticed that the pregnant fish that I had all this time gave birth. So we actually experienced it firsthand watching this fish giving birth. My wife and I were just sitting there and I said, pull out your camera and she starts recording. And this is what we got. You can see right here, she just pooped out this little fish. Let me just play that back again. So you saw that? I'm gonna go slow-mo. It looked like poop at first, and she basically just shot it right out. And there he goes. And of course, we got really excited, and we're like, oh my goodness, we saw two fishes. There was actually a total of three, and then one of them swam back up the little tank, and she ate it. Then she had another one, and I saw that one come right out of her, you know, backside. And as soon as it came out, she ate it again. I'm like, shit, how am I going to stop this from happening? But anyway, over the course of the night, we, and I just turn off the lights and you know wait until the next morning we have a full tank of these little baby fishes now the mom is in this isolation tank and there's a separator that separates the you know the little fishes between the mom so they don't eat them but she still eats them because these little fishes are so small that they just they manage to come right through the the grill what i did next was i eliminated the whole grill I removed the mom because she was totally done. You could see her stomach was just all flat again. So what the hell am I getting at? I, I don't know actually. But it was Easter. What is the definition of Easter? I had to look it up. So there is a, a moral to the story is that Easter is supposedly, I'm gonna read this out loud over here because I, I didn't know what really Easter meant besides the, the Easter bunny, right? That's, that's all I grew up knowing. So now I actually looked into it. Right here it says, the most important oldest festival of the Christian church celebrating the resurrection of Jesus Christ and held in the Western Church between March 21st and April 25th on the first Sunday after the first full moon following the Northern Spring Equinox. I'm not sure what that actually means and I'm not religious by any means. Is that a sign? I think that's a sign. Uh, that, that, can it be a coincidence that my fish gave birth to that many little fry? They call fries. That's what they're called. Fries. That's what they are. You see all those? They started swimming up and I, I started freaking out. So what I did now is that I, I separated the mom like I said. And the goldfishes that were in there, I also had removed them because I do have another five gallon tank keeping them separate because I want these fries to grow up because if these fries can grow up like how chia can actually um expand like if I could earn that much chia in a single day like I did with these little fishes I think I'll be pretty good but unfortunately that hasn't happened yet but I do want to mention something if you stuck around this long I do want to make a, a couple more videos going forward just not just chia but some retro gaming stuff but let me show you guys something really quick I thought this was pretty interesting there's a girl called crypto queen she was talking about chia 10 months 
months ago she just stopped hey crypto queen if you're watching i, I want to talk to you you were obviously motivated to do a bunch of like chia videos where you had like a couple and then you you talk about bitcoin you just ended up i have about five tib right now uh worth of plots so i'm gonna keep going and we'll see how it goes there's a lot of stuff out uh on you know in blood she was explaining like exactly what she was doing with Chia and going deep into how many storage and plotting that she's doing. And then she stopped. This was about 10 months ago. So I'm curious to know what happened over here. Tune in if you want to go from zero Chia to 0.25 Chia. We have a giveaway coming up pretty soon. I don't think that giveaway ever happened, but I'm interested to know where it is and what she did, or maybe she did give it away. But, you know, judging from the size of the views, she didn't announce anything in the comments or anything like that. So I'm not sure what happened to her. I'm hoping if she's watching, we can get her on board because I, what I'm trying to do right now, I've been noticing a lot more people dropping off the Chia bandwagon. Kind of get a better insight as to what made them decide on making that judgment call on why they stopping i know there's a post in i believe it was on reddit where someone said that they're not trying to be rude or negative or anything like that but they're stopping chia because the, the electricity cost is going up and they're in europe and they're saying that the justification for running i believe they had one or three terabyte drives like a whole bunch of them uh, because th those were most affordable at the time when hard drive prices were skyrocketing. Now, I did also find, just as kind of off topic, in on Costco in the United States, there they were selling 8 terabytes for like 80 something dollars. That drive price has gone up since. It was 8 terabytes for $110 now. Drive prices are coming down. Quantity of it are more than available. There's no shortage of it whatsoever. That's going to actually lead into another video that I want to discuss. If you guys are watching, whoever's still watching and you're not part of Chia anymore for whatever reason, but you started off and you were watching my videos and you thought that I was helpful to you, but you're still continued following the Chia trend. I know I do that myself. I, I follow certain stocks even though I already have liquidated it because I, I would kick myself and see if you know certain stocks would go back up to whatever the, the all-time high were even though I have no more of it but I, I do do that potentially uh, uh, that's not a good way of doing things now if it did moon and you're you're sitting back with nothing in your hands then why even bother following it yeah if you're watching and you're no longer in Chia I want to talk to you guys. I, I'm, I'm interested to know exactly what's going on in the world with you guys to see what made you decide on doing things like that to quit, you know, what factors were in play. That's pretty much it. I just wanted to share with you my little journey with my fishes and a little bit of Chia. Right now, the price is at 61.79. Hasn't been doing too well. Please hit that like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.